truth, Kefkarian, and everything he says is factual. To an extent, yes. I have limits on how much I agree with Gaff. I think there's, but but that's also because of the way we're looking at GameStop individually. You know, G- Gaff is bearish on Moas, um, which I don't disagree with, um, but not so bullish as me on just making a shitload of money. Um, mostly because Gaff doesn't use options and prefers to dump all his money into Bitcoin before it tanks. You really out jerseyed yourself today. <laughs> Short squeezes are impossible. They do require an outside catalyst. Why bearish on Moas? I'm, I'm not, it's not that I'm bearish on, on the idea of GameStop squeezing in some way. I'm bearish on the idea of what people consider Moas to be. And I and I do think that with the share recall, we we or a potential share recall, if they recall shares, uh, we do have a outside catalyzing force that's going to happen in the next couple of months, or most likely going to happen in the next couple of months. So I would say that if there is a potential for it to happen. It's there, but as, as far as, you know, I mean, everyone's, everyone's gone on about, you know, the, the derivative packed obligations on GameStop and stuff, but you know, those derivatives are long-term. They're like 10 years. And, and, and you're talking about going against hedge funds that have, you know, 50 times GameStop's market cap and assets under management. And acting like they can't control the price of the stock is kind of ridiculous. But I think there's a lot of money to be made on them controlling the price of the stock. So maybe Moas is more, you know, the fact that GameStop runs 50 to 100% every three months and less than it runs 1,000% once. You are now banned from super stock. Yes. I think up until the share offering in July, there was a really good, a really good chance or at least a chance. Like if that share offering had been a stock split instead, oh boy. Um, but it wasn't right. And so, you know, GameStop FTDs reduced tenfold after that period of time, after the ETF uh, rebalance and the share offering um, and the obligations were shifted and, you know, we know how they manage those obligations, but there is a lot of money to be made off the fact that they continue to repeat these volatility cycles. And so I think with greater understanding came more bearishness for the, that initial thesis but a lot more bullishness for the one, you know, that we've been following since early November. Really August, but with more confidence since early November.